All right, guys, so this is my pizza oven. I purchased it online. It's an Uni Pro. It does gas, coal, and um, wood. Uh, as you can see by the temperature, this thing is pumping the heat. We're above 932 degrees on this thing. It's pretty awesome. It, it got up to that temperature in a matter of minutes. Um, I have all the things closed as far as the chimney and everything. So you can see inside real quick. It cooks the pizza extremely fast, so you cannot walk away when cooking pizza. All right, welcome back. Um, in this edition, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make um, a pizza. We already made the pizza dough, so this is the next day. You see how it came out? So I'm just gonna take you through the steps as far as uh, preparing a pizza and cooking it at home. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna form the pizza. With the recipe that I did, I got five nice pizza doughs out of it. So you'll see there'll be a little bit of grease on there. Um, so we're gonna flour, put a little bit on our hands, and then push down. This is actually gonna get the carbon dioxide out of the, out of the dough, and it's gonna make it pliable. So we're gonna pump out, and then we're just gonna try and stretch. Uh, if, you feel, if you feel it sticking to the countertop, just pull it away and pull a little flour underneath of it, and then we'll go from there. So, you know, use your palms or your hands, and we're gonna get this to a thickness, I guess like about an eighth of an inch to a quarter, more like an eighth of an inch thick. Again, this is only supposed to be a small nine inch pizza. You can play around with it, put it on your knuckles and stretch it out too, just to get the dough waking up. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right onto our pizza peel. But before we put this on the pizza peel, we need to put cornmeal. That's what I have right here. So you wanna go heavy with the cornmeal so your dough doesn't stick to that, all right? You can actually dust off the, the flour, stretch it out a little bit, and then once you get it on the pizza peel, that's when we'll start to do the topping on it. So with this pizza, what we're gonna do is, we have uh, grilled chicken, broccoli rob, onion, uh, ricotta cheese, and I believe that's it. So we'll just go light with the red sauce, all right? Light with the red sauce. And then I have all the other components already cooked. The broccoli rob was cooked, sauteed, and mixed with onions and garlic. And then my wife, she made some really good grilled chicken. And uh, we have that here ready to go. What I'm gonna do with this pizza is we're gonna to top it with cheese. It's just gonna be lightly with cheese. So you'll see, but we're gonna have spots and dollops of ricotta or ricotta. All right, so now, Raven, can you grab the Parmesan? So like I said, we're just gonna to top it Nice with some mozzarella, just a little bit. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna do the, the ricotta. All right, so we're just gonna do a dollop here and there. We don't have to go too heavy with it. Now, remember, this isn't seasoned, this cheese, so you definitely want to put some salt and pepper on top, and if you want to do Italian seasonings, you could do that as well. Uh, a little bit of Parmesan. And then we'll salt, salt and pepper. All right. I'll get a little bit of fresh oregano. Stay there over the pizza. Did I have that? Ah, oh, here it is. And then that's it. 
Then we're going right into the oven. So, all right, so this is uh, the final product. You know, we made our pizza dough by hand. We cooked it all at home, and it came out pretty delicious looking, if you ask me. Um, if you guys follow the instructions in these videos, you too can accomplish a pizza looking like that. Um, it's, it's not easy, but uh, I'm here to help you. If you have any questions about the process, but all these videos will help you make a better pizza. So best of luck. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot.